this is going to make things much easier when it comes to shooting videos. It's the iGadgets Large Universal Camera Tripod. The one I've got at the moment is this one. I've had this one for quite a few years. It's brilliant. Perfect for my action cam, but absolutely no good when it comes to this. So the object is to get something strong enough for my bridge camera. I hate packaging. Oh, you know. It even comes with instructions. If these things aren't first, uh, first feel. It's very light. It is light. It has a quick release. Oh, push both sides. It has a nice quick release. These. Let's see. First of all, what it what it seems to be. Uh, unlike my Gorilla Pod copy, which has movable balls, this seems to be a wire in the middle of a load of foam. Fairly stiff, goes anywhere. Never get it straight again. There you go. Uh, let's see if it's strong enough for the camera. Certainly feels it. Very sturdy. Let's lean it over so it's just on one leg. Yeah, this is going to work very well. Brilliant. How low can you go? Not only like that. <clears throat> oh, oh, movement. Oh, there we go. We're on. Uh, Hinges at the top. Focus, there we go. We have hinges at the top. These are loose. But once they've reached the maximum bit, it's going nowhere then. This is the iGadgets Large Universal Camera Tripod. First impressions. It's very light. I do like that. I'm going to be carrying it around in my bag all the time. So we need lightness. Uh, the legs are foam, probably with a wire running down the middle of them. Feels very strong, secure. Just bend it where you want and it stays there. No return, that's great. There's a quick release camera mount. Just press in two buttons either side. And a cheap plastic ball head mount. Yeah, I say cheap plastic, but it feels strong enough. It's going to do the job just fine. I'm going to have no problems with that. That locks it very sturd sturdily. So then, let's see if it'll grip. Here we have a piece of plastic tubing. Wrap the legs around one way. Wrap a leg around the other way. And again. That is going nowhere. So let's put a camera on it. So there we go. Camera's on fine. Oh, let's tighten that up. That's going nowhere. The legs do slide a bit but this is on a very smooth plastic if it was on anything but smooth plastic I mean it's still doing a pretty damn good job of staying there this is actually a very sturdy tripod I'm going to be very happy with this so let's run through it it's going to hold the camera there's no I'm shaking the camera, there's no uh, movement in anything, the camera's staying exactly where I want it to. This is great. So let's run through what we've got. We've got quick release. So screw off. 
that pops in there very easily, just squeeze the sides in, solid, it's a ball head, a cheap plastic one admittedly, but it's going to do the job just fine. And sturdy, yet flexible, legs. Which is also going to do the job just fine. Even the plastic ends are, they feel like rubber, so they're not plastic. Rubberized plastic, let's call them. So they're not even going to slide around. It's firm grip, even with the plastic bits at the bottom. Even with the feet, should I say. I'm very happy with this. And I would thoroughly recommend this product to anybody as a cheap alternative to a Gorillapod. For best prices near you, please click the link below. If you found my review helpful, give it a thumbs up. If not, please put down in the comments below how I could improve my videos. Thank you. Try for now.